Baruch here with GenConnect.com, chatting today with Dr. Sasloff from Harvard University's Astronomy Department. How are you, sir? Great. Nice to be here. Thank you for being here. I am fascinated by what you study, and, and, and it can really become intimidating at times when you start to think that there may be life existing on other planets right now. What do we know so far? Bring us up to date. Okay, so first of all, it's an old question. People right. thought that there was life on other planets, even before they were planets around other stars. We called them exoplanets. But what has happened in the last 10 years, and particularly in the last few years, is we uh, now discovered a thousand or more than a thousand planets, which um, among them, uh, some resembling the Earth, and they are in what we call the habitable zone. So for the first time, we have a good shot at uh, answering that question, is there life on other planets? And what do we think right now? If you ask me, what, what do you I think, think yes. I think there is life on uh, other planets in our galaxy. In fact, probably very close to us. Uh, it's probably microbial life, but hey, you know, we'll settle for that to start with. Uh, and so that's why I'm doing what I'm doing. And my colleagues, we are actually pushing for trying to find, find it and uh, figure out how to do it. And we think we'll be able to at least try uh, in the next few years. So you don't think that there are cre large creatures walking around on some other planet near us? Uh, maybe they are, uh, but as ir ironic as it may seem, large creatures uh, walking around are very difficult to detect. Uh, Why is what that? is easier to detect are microbes, because they are ubiquitous, they are all over the place, and they produce a lot of uh, gases which we can then detect in the atmosphere of the planet like cyanobacteria, for example, one of the most prolific producers of oxygen gas. And that's how you would tell that the Earth is inhabited, uh, because you see that very reactive oxygen gas from very far away mixed in in the atmosphere of the Earth. And you say, well, why is this oxygen there? It must be produced by something constantly. And the only way in which you can explain that is if you have a biosphere made of those microbes that produce it. Now, the animals are uh, all over the place, but really they don't make such a mark on the geochemistry of a planet as a microbial uh, biosphere does. So, if you ask me, I want to do the easy thing first. Let's discover some life on other planets and let's do it for microbes and then we'll try to figure out if there is something else walking on the surface. What inspires you when you think about the possibility of life existing on other planets near us? Well, first of all, it's a big question. So, in scientists, like in everything else, you try to get the big challenge. So, this is one of the biggest challenges you can imagine. People have been asking about this for centuries, and now we have a great shot at answering it. So, that's obviously one of them. But it is a bigger question, and the bigger question is that science in general progresses along the lines of trying to understand the world around us, but it eventually comes back to teaching us something about ourselves. You know, it's the saying that you will go and explore, mm -hmm. and then you'll come back and understand where you started in a new way. T.S. Eliot That's said that in Harvard, among other places. Yes. So, this is, in fact, very important because it ultimately comes back to, to us. Who are we? We are part of life, obviously. And are we alone? Is this a fluke in the universe? Or is it something which happened many times all over the place and one day will become part of a community? So science can reach out in that big question which comes back to who we are. So I think that's very exciting. And if you need more motivation, you know, come on. To I think a lot of people are very excited <laughs> to see what you come up with. Thank you, Professor. Thank you very much. And for more on the existence of life on other planets, be sure to check out GenConnect.com.